good morning and welcome to Morning Manna. Morning Manna is back. It's hard for me to believe, but I started this podcast in 2007 and have 2,557 episodes. But life got busy and we took a couple years off, but now I'm retired. Hey, <laughs> But I'm not going to retire completely. I've got some things I want to do. I've got some ministry that I believe God is calling me to accomplish. And I'm looking forward to spending that time with you. Monday through Fridays, we're going to be doing an audio podcast. And then on Saturdays, we'll be doing uh, a video podcast. So some of you may have seen uh, the video podcast. If you haven't, let me encourage you to go to morningmana.com. That'll direct you to uh, our Facebook page for Morning Mana. Now, I'm going to be talking a lot about different things on this podcast before we actually get into today's episode. So be patient with me, if you will. So Morning Mana, uh, for those six years, was an audio podcast. It was Monday through Friday. The basic premise was that we were reading through the Bible a chapter a day and then giving some brief comment at the end of reading the chapter. And the podcast lasted approximately anywhere from 8 to 12 minutes. And uh, so we're going we're gonna to continue the timing of that, the 8 to 12 minutes, but for at least the beginning part, we're going to continue the devotional aspect of morning manna, but rather than reading through the Bible a chapter a day, we're going to be dealing with different subject matters. And as it turns out, the first video podcast, which was on Saturday, July the 1st, was about dealing with change and transition. You say, why did you start with that subject? Well, because that's where I'm at. I'm dealing with change. I'm dealing with transition. I'm moving from full-time employment to uh, a different stage of life. And so uh, that's what we talked about. And so as I begin to think about this first week of the audio version of Morning Manna, I thought, let's go ahead and develop that subject further. And so that's what we're going to do this morning. Now, again, morningmanna.com will take you to our Facebook page. I would encourage you to go there, like the page. Uh, You can get notifications when uh, episodes are uploaded and available. Uh, The video episode from last Saturday is already there. You can watch that. And, of course, that's tied to my YouTube channel. Uh, Interestingly enough, I'll be using a platform called Spreaker Radio, which will give me the opportunity to push an audio version to YouTube. So if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll get notifications of when the uh, the audio versions as well as the video version that comes out weekly will be there. On the video version, I'm just looking for an opportunity to get outside, get in a beautiful place and talk about different subjects and um, and just kind of kind of work it up a little bit differently. Now, audio I think is great because you have an opportunity to listen to it while you're working out, maybe on your commute to work. Uh, those types of things. Maybe you're in the kitchen whipping up uh, lunch and uh, you can listen to an audio podcast a lot easier than you can watch one. But the Saturday one is going to be uh, the, a video podcast where you'll have an opportunity to maybe sit down and relax a little bit. Uh, the video podcast, I'm looking to make them no longer than about 15 minutes. So it won't involve a a tremendous investment of your time. But anyway, thank you for being a part of Morning Manna. And let me encourage you also as well to to share these. I'll be posting them on our Facebook page, Morning Manna. We also have a Facebook group for Morning Manna, which will give you a little more opportunity to communicate as a community. And uh, so we encourage you to do that. Uh, the, the Facebook group page is closed, but if you'll go there uh, from the link on our Facebook page, you'll be able to uh, request to be a part of uh, the Morning Mana Facebook group page, and I'll approve that uh, right away. So let's go ahead and get into the subject matter of today. On Saturday, I talked about dealing with change and transition. And one of the things that I've discovered in my life is that many times when God is wanting to change me or transition me or transform me from where I'm at to where I need to be. He often uh, uses people. He'll use situations. Uh, Frequently, there'll be pressure involved, things that may not be 
uh, comfortable to deal with. It's kind of like the blacksmith working on that horseshoe and, and the heat that's involved and that's that sort of thing. So I thought I'd begin today by reading to you one of my favorite passages of scripture. This comes from Jeremiah chapter 18. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause you to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and there he was, making something at the wheel. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again into another vessel, as seemed good to the potter to make. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, can I not do with you as this potter, says the Lord? Look, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. The instant I speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to pluck up, to pull down, and to destroy it, if that nation against whom I have spoken turns from its evil, I will relent of the disaster that I thought to bring upon it. And the instant I speak concerning a nation, and concerning a kingdom, to build and to plant it, if it does evil in my sight, so that it does not obey my voice, then I will relent concerning the good with which I said I would benefit it. Oh, listen, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. Now that's applicable to you and to I this morning. Listen, you are clay in the potter's hand. And God has a purpose and a plan for your life. He's got us on his wheel and he's allowing circumstances and challenges to come into our life to make us into a vessel as seemed good to the potter to make. Oh, listen, I think I've got, I've got it all figured out, right? Hey, I'm retirement. I know exactly what I'm going to be doing. Listen, it doesn't matter what I think is best. It matters what God thinks is best. And so that's, that's easy preaching, hard living, isn't it? I mean, let's be honest. Sometimes when you're on the wheel and things aren't spinning the direction you think they ought to spin, or maybe they're not spinning as fast as you think it ought to spin, or maybe you think, ouch, God, please take your hand off that spot. God is going to use different instances and challenges to conform us and to change us and to move us to where he wants us to be. I love this verse in 2 Corinthians 3.18. It says, But we all with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. You see, it's the work of the Holy Spirit to conform us to the image of Jesus Christ. Isn't that what you want? Don't you want to be more like Jesus today? I know I do. And I'm all too aware of the areas in my life where I'm not like Jesus. But God, as a faithful potter, will mold us and transform us into his image as we allow him to do so. God says he resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Don't be resistant. Trust the Lord. And I love what the scripture says in 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 10 and 11. But may the God of all grace, who called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, listen now, after you have suffered a while, perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. To him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Oh, listen, I don't like that suffering for a while, do you? But I enjoy and appreciate the benefits of the perfecting, the maturing of my faith, the establishing of my walk before him, the strengthening, the subtleness that he can bring to me. It is so easy to flit about from one thing to another. But as God does his work in us and conforms us to the image of his son, we see such wonderful, wonderful benefits. So let me ask you, your clay on the potter's wheel today, how's it going? 
How are you dealing with the work that God is doing in your life? Are you resistant? Are you hard? Or are you saying, Lord, whatever it is that you need to do in my life, I'm going to trust you that it's best, that it's for your honor and for your glory. Father, I pray today that you would bless each one of the Morning Manna family of listeners and that you would help us, Father, to rest in you and allow you to bring about the change, the transition, the transformation that we need. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I began the podcast. I didn't tell you what day it was. It is Monday. It is July the 3rd. Boy, this is a big day coming up tomorrow for those of us here in the United States as we celebrate Independence Day. But anyway, thanks for being a part of Morning Manna today. Don't forget to like and subscribe our Facebook page. You can find it by going to morningmanna.com. And also, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. That'll help you to get notifications. We're going to work this all out. We're going to be doing audio five days a week video uh, on Saturday. And we'll be looking at a number of different ways to do that the best. Pray for us, won't you? And share this with other people. I think it'll be a blessing. Thanks for joining me for Morning Manna today.